Good morning, y'all. One of the reasons I actually made this big move to South Dakota was to be able to spend more time with my grandmother. Today I'm excited because I am going to take her lunch, give her a break from the kind of cafeteria style food they have there, and we're going to hang out for a while. And so uh, it's a great way to kind of end the week. So it's time for me to get up, get going, and get on the road. Hi, I'm Steve. As 2020 rocked the world, I decided my life needed a shakeup, and so I started teaching myself to paint on YouTube. I left my dream job and moved across the country to the mountains. At a mile high, Leaf, South Dakota is an old mining town going through an exciting revitalization spurred by scientific exploration and technology, research, and development. I'm here to simplify life, explore new passions, and reconnect with what's most important. I don't exactly know what lies ahead, but I do know there's sure to be plenty to see and learn. Join me on this grand adventure. So finished with the visit with Abuela. It was a great chat. I always enjoy spending time with her and I'm so grateful that I'm now closer so I can stop in um, often throughout the week and uh, spend time with her. We had a great lunch, had some pizza and some candy bars and just, um, just some uh, really bad food, but it was good and a lot of fun. But uh, now headed back up the mountain, gonna stop at Walmart to do some grocery shopping before I head back up the mountain. Um, and then this evening probably do some more painting.
the challenge as we do this is to draw the specific, I don't know what the eye of his feathers is called, I'm just going to call it the eye. Um, in a photo, it's perfectly in focus because the camera doesn't focus like our eye does. It sees everything. So when we're painting though, we want it, we don't want to copy the photo, we want to copy what our eye sees and so I'm trying to blend all of these very specific colors the blues and the uh, browns I want them to be there but the challenge is how how specific do we get and how uh, saturated do we get so that's what I'm exploring and that's what I'm playing with right now what I'm noticing here is that the bright green is really standing out so I'm gonna try to desaturate it a little bit and soften the edges with some brown so that it is there but it is blend it in so because the last thing I want is bright bright green and the you know drawing the eye down suddenly but it's one of those things that I love about painting is like figuring out these challenges and these puzzles and once you learn it you kind of have magic skill So what I'm doing here is I blocked in where the major eyes of his feathers are. I am putting light all around and I'll fill this in with feathers and darken all of this space around him. But I wanted to create or be able to create definitive lines around the peacock so that when I come in and put very specific um, and the lightest colors, I want them to really pop out. This will be the spines of his feathers. And so that's the intent of what I'm doing right now. Now it's coming in, now I need to come in, put in detail, um, because I want to get this right and then come in and work on the actual peacock. So that's the intent of what we're doing. We'll see if it works. Well, I think we're nearly done. I'm gonna wait. I'm still figuring out the lighting in this in, in this environment. Obviously, the sun has gone down now, but I think we're pretty close to the end on this painting. I'll wait to see it in the sunlight in better lighting. I think the way that it's developed draws the eye where I want the eye. So, um, really happy with how this one turned out. I'm going to start live streaming my learn to paint journey here on YouTube. It's how I started a little over a year ago. So if you're a viewer of the vlog, I'd love to have you stop in in a future live stream. It's an opportunity to engage with me live. I love connecting with you as I paint. It's open house so you can pop in, pop out anytime. You can find the most recent or not the most recent, but the upcoming live streams on the link below. I'll also include it in the description. That's where I update upcoming live streams as we go. 
and you can always find the most updated information there. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe now and turn on the notifications so that you can be informed of upcoming live streams and new videos that come out. And I'll see you on the next video.